I'm a digital health entrepreneur and a final year law student. Interesting combination, right? Hmm. How did that happen? Law and digital healthcare. Well, sheer coincidence, I would say. But let's just focus on the digital healthcare part today. So one day when I was in my third year of law school, I just woke up and wore the best clothes that I had to look professional and visited my vice chancellor's office. I offered to sell them a software solution, a digital healthcare plan for my university hospital. Now my university hospital is a secondary healthcare facility. While at VC office that day, I was afraid that the people over there would recognize that I am just a student and would throw me away. But rather, they thought of me as an insurance agent and said that they are not interested in buying any insurance right now and eventually threw me away. But that was a good thing for me that day because I hadn't started making the software yet. It was just an idea. An idea about a change in the healthcare system. Also that day I realized that ideas don't come fully clear. They only become clear as you start working on them. You just have to get started. So from that day, I started working day and night on this project, which marked the end of my interest in law school and the starting of a beautiful journey in digital healthcare systems. So before I could realize, I was surrounded by 10 senior doctors in my hospital, university hospital. No, no, I didn't fall that sick. I was officially allowed to experiment my ideas of digital healthcare at my university hospital. So my journey that began from selling a software solution to my university, to executing that plan, and then forming a complete company to embrace the digital future of healthcare has a tipping point at this stage where I'll be sharing my insights on digital revolution in healthcare with you. So let us get to the details. So what is digital healthcare? We can understand digital healthcare by thinking of it as a clinical record for a digital human being, which takes up all the information that we can get from a human being and puts it into a single digital file mapped to an individual human being. The concept is very basic and it looks something like this. So, uh, uh, digital healthcare. So that file contains all the data that you can get from your doctor, your past and present medication history, data from wearable devices, reports, prescriptions, data from your weighing machine, or data from any other connected device. Now, I have a cousin named Myra. Now, Myra suffers from uncontrolled type 1 diabetes. So this one day, I was sitting with Myra. I asked her, Myra, why are your sugar levels so bad? She said, you know, uh, I've got this box full of medicines and I don't know which one is which and uh, some of these make me feel good and some of these doesn't make me feel good. I'm so confused. And uh, considering the careless I am, I have lost most of my prescriptions. I said, Myra, that's a serious issue. You need to discuss it with your doctor. She said, my doctor's got 10 minutes with me and most of that time is spent in documentation. And he relies a whole lot on me for information. Although my previous doctor do have my records, but they are situated in a room which looks something like this. Can anybody help me to find Myra's records in this room? <laughs> It'll take quite some time. So we see that the current team of healthcare, which has a doctor, a patient, a nurse who helps the doctor, or the pharmacy guy, is not sufficient. It doesn't provide the doctors with the information that they need about the patient, 
nor does it provide the patient with the information that they need at their fingertips. So patients are not engaged in their care in this current healthcare system. So think about the future of healthcare. Think about the future team, the dream team. We introduce digital technology as the new team member in healthcare. Digital technology will provide tools for doctors to get the information in front of them about their patients and will equip the patients with the tools that they need to get engaged in their care. Smart patients will be the partners in their healthcare. Digital technology can be there for the patients where doctors cannot be there for them. For the convenience of understanding, I have divided digital advancements in healthcare into five parts. So let us start with part one. Digital health records. Do you guys remember having a family doctor? A doctor we all used to visit whenever we used to fall ill. So that doctor used to have this one big file which contained all the documents related to your health and the health of your family. That one big file. But the only problem with that file was that only that doctor could use that file. It cannot be passed on. But with digital health records powered by cloud and powered by electronic health recording systems, that big file can be passed on to any doctor in the network for the better of the patient. Doctors can have this tool to create, save and share health records on the cloud system in their network to better treat the patients. Serious, serious issues of health history can be tackled through digital health records. Doctors can access these medical records from anywhere and everywhere. Number two, mobile applications for connecting patients. So my view of the future in respect to digital healthcare is one of really empowering the patients with the information about their healthcare. And mobile applications would do, would do that part. Mobile applications for connecting patients will provide the patients with the information on their fingertips. They will equip the patients with di digital prescriptions. Serious issues of drug adherence will be tackled by pill reminders and refill reminder features. It will enable better telemedicine and it will enable the tracking of health data from variables on a daily basis. Number three, IoT devices. IoT or as we call them Internet of Things devices. They will boost the quality of life of consumers and patients and will help them to track their health data on a daily basis. Number four, big data in healthcare. So data is what makes sense of everything. A lot of data is generated in these clinical interactions between doctors and patients. That data can be analyzed and can be used in public and private health analytics and health policy formation. Number five, where technology meets emergency care. Across the globe, in our neighborhoods, from the halls of the government, Two hospital emergency rooms. Today's headlines are dominated by healthcare issues. Official data shows that more than 20% of emergency patient deaths are blamed on traffic jams. Another official data shows that every second heart attack patient in India takes about more than 400 minutes to reach a hospital which is 13 times more than the ideal window of 30 times. Now the problem here is not traffic congestion, but thousands of preventable deaths. Deaths that can be saved. We don't hear much about these deaths, but even when we do hear or read about it, it's difficult to keep our eyes on the problem. Why? 
because the problem is so complex that we do not know what to do. So we look away and it stays in the background where it's easy to ignore. Bill Gates once said that if you believe that every life has equal value, it's revolting to learn that some lives are seen as worth saving while others are not. We say to ourselves that this can't be true. But if it is true, it needs to be the priority of our giving. Hence, however complex the problem be, we need to find a solution. Finding a solution through technology Finding a solution through technology can run in four simple steps. Number one, set a goal. Number two, find the highest impact approach. Number three, deliver the technology ideal for that approach. Number four, in the meantime, use the best application of technology you already have. So I remember a few months ago going to a panel discussion and sitting on a panel, listening to other senior panelists speaking about and discussing ways to save a million lives each year. Million. Million lives. <laughs> Think of the threat you could get if you could save just one person's life and multiply it by a million. Such, such serious discussions, right? But that was the most boring event I have ever been to. Why? What made this experience really striking was that I went to that event directly from a technology conference where we were discussing and prototyping a solution to better route emergency vehicles in traffic, a solution to better optimize the traffic signals to give priority to emergency vehicles. What I mean to say is that finding solutions with technology seems more convincing and more promising to me than ever. It is no question that we are treated by a healthcare system that has doubled the life expectancy at birth in less than 10 decades. We are healed by great doctors who have helped to better the lives of patients here and around the world. But it's astonishing to learn that doctors only began washing their hands regularly before surgery in 19th century. In 1846, Dr. Semmelweis invented something as basic and as true as hand washing before surgery. Hand washing technique in healthcare. That's so basic and so true. We have to give digital technology a chance to be as basic and as true as hand washing in healthcare. Because digital technology can weave the healthcare system together. It will connect the patients with the doctors, with the pharmaceuticals, with the laboratories, and vice versa. Digital technology will bring care into the 21st century. So I've heard so much about this 10 year challenge ruling the internet. Everybody is participating in this challenge and I wanted to do one for myself. But then being a digital health entrepreneur, I thought let us take up some serious issues. So we created a 10 year challenge, a future 10 year challenge for healthcare in respect to digital healthcare. So 2019, today, doctors are still burdened with paperwork. In next 10 years, we, the world and the country aim to reach a level where doctors will be equipped with nothing else, no burden, but a smart technology device in their hand that contains all the information. 2019, patients are still dependent on these paper prescriptions with bad handwriting and the fear of losing them. In next 10 years, we, the world and the country, I challenge the country to reach a level where patients will be equipped with information on their fingertips. 2019, our emergency vehicles are still stuck in traffic. 
2029, in next 10 years, we deliver, we develop, and we deploy a technology which optimizes traffic signals to give priority to emergency vehicles and not to VIP vehicles. I believe that digital technology can really trigger a revolution in healthcare and in what humans can do for each other. Digital technology will bring care into the 21st century and it will bring a revolution in this 21st century. And with this revolution, I am happy to be on top. Thank you.